What's up guys? So uh judging by this video title, obviously killed a big buck yesterday. Or it was yesterday. I don't know when you're seeing this. So uh so my girl I went with my girlfriend first time I ever took her hunting and so she didn't get I told her I got some video of it, but it wasn't very well. It wasn't very good because she had to hold it with one hand because she was holding her ear. So I'm pretty much just gonna sit here. I'm back here now. So I'm gonna um kind of tell you how it went and stuff since I didn't get good video footage of it so we came out here at about 7 15 7 30 and we uh we sat down on this tree we sit down on one of these trees right here but we're looking off this way and so we got up we sat down for about 30 minutes and then back here you can just walk around and you'll see the deer because I mean there's like 200 acres back here but so we get and there's this trail that goes all the way around and it loops around and comes right back here. So we got up, we walked one loop around, didn't say anything. So we came back and sat on the same tree, and then we um and then we got up and we went, but we went the other way instead of going back that way. We went this way and we cut through a trail that cuts right through the middle of all, right in the middle of the loop. And uh, we were cutting through and we were almost out and she saw a buck. So we tried to chase it out of the power lines, but didn't see it so we came back and we had actually finished the loop and we went the the first way we came first loop we took we went that way uh and then we s spooked two does so i knew the deer were up and moving then so we came back and we went and sat down we sat down and we sat down on i think that tree right there or one of those trees right there and so we sat down got out her pop tart and then about 20 minutes after that i turn around because I hear something behind me, and there's a doe staring right at me, 15, 10, 10 yards away. And so I'm thinking, oh my gosh, there's a freaking doe behind me. And so so I tell her, I, I touch her, I say, don't move and be quiet. So the doe's looking at me, and I keep looking at it, and it's taking some steps. And finally it turns around, and it trots off in here. I can hear I can't see it, but it trots off and I can hear it. And so I hear it, um, but I don't hear it really. I keep hearing it walk. And so I'm like, whoa, where is this thing doing? And so, and then I look around and I look up in here and then I can see the doe, but then I see another deer behind it and it's the freaking big ass buck. So I see the buck and the doe's just milling around, eating some acorns and stuff. And but the, while all that's happened, the buck is just looking right at me, staring right at us. And so the, the doe eventually comes out here I guess spooks or something because I don't know I can't remember if she had her tail up hops across the road and goes on in the woods down there meanwhile the buck is still standing right up here and so he slowly makes his way you know cautiously taking steps always looking over here sometimes he's stopping and he gets out to the road about right here it might remind you that I'm having to look at it through these trees right here and trying to get a shot so I thought the buck was gonna follow the doe right out here into the road but he ends up getting about right here almost into the middle of the road if he would have turned broadside, I could have shot him perfect. But he was looking. But his body was facing that way. But he was he was turned around, looking right at us. So he actually turns around and starts walking the other way and well I mean as you saw earlier where he looked uh, he was walking he looked right up and she was like oh my gosh you're oh my gosh that's a big buck and I was like that's a big buck yeah and so I could have shot it there but it was just I, I didn't want to I didn't have the gun up yet and I, I didn't want to bring the gun up and then spook it so I didn't bring the gun up I probably should have but I didn't.
And, and so we, uh, he was right there. And then he eventually turned back and he was back there and I had a shot in between trees. So I took it. And so, but I, and I, you could hear, I said, I smoked him. I thought I did. And then he ran out into the power lines out there. And I saw him standing there, but the problem, I saw him stop, and his leg was just flopping around. So I said, God dang, I shot him in the leg. And so we got up, and we were following, we tried to find some blood up here. We tried to find some blood right up here. And I found one drop on a leaf, and other than that, I didn't find anything. So I knew, I just, the way I was sitting and stuff, it was just a bad shot. I I couldn't get a good shot. I wasn't steady. I, I, I don't know, it was just bad. And so walk up here, we follow out to the, we follow it out here. So we follow him out here, or where he went. He ran out here in the power lines. I could see him standing when I got up, and he ran off that way. And as you can see, there's houses right over there. So, and you can hunt with a rifle back here. And so I was shooting my 243. And so I shot him, and he ran back here. And I didn't know if he was in this. There's this is almost backyard. These woods, and I, there's been deer in there before. So I didn't know if he was back there. So I had. I called up my two buddies, Peyton and Jeffrey, because Peyton was sleeping over at Jeffrey's house, and they came out here, and we went and looked for it down there. I didn't, or my girlfriend was walking down the street. She could, if it was down there, it was bedded down. I could spook it and jump up and kind of follow it back in here. I could shoot it, but we didn't. So we ended up walking down here. So I get to down, I get down here, and I see, and I get down here because I'm just walking to see if the deer's down here, and I see a doe run off. And then I see the buck following it because I can tell because he's hobbling. He's got he's he can only walk on three legs. And so my girlfriend's up on the hill over here walking down. And I, I go I throw up. I throw stop stop and be quiet. So she's telling Jeffrey and Peyton behind her, you know, stop be quiet. And so I see him run down in there, and I go and try and follow him. So I get into the woods down here, and uh, I hear him. I can hear him running around. And so I get down this hill. And I heard him, I heard, bah, crash, I heard it crash, I heard him in the sticks and the leaves and stuff, and so I heard him crash, and so I get up right here over this hill, and I see him kind of hobbling around and stuff, I mean, he was, he was down there in some thick, in some thick, the vines and stuff, and so I see him down there, and so he's hobbling around. And so I'm trying to get in here, get a shot on him, but he's kind of just hobbling it. You can't get a shot because he's like, well, I think when it crashed right here, he broke, he like completely snapped his front leg. And so he just couldn't get on his front legs anymore. So he's just hobbling around and I couldn't get a shot because he was trying to jump up and move and he's hobbling. So I couldn't get him. So he gets up and the trails, there's a trail right here. And so I get up over this little hill right here and I can see him. And then my girlfriend, Jeffrey and Peyton are back there following me, or they're back there a ways. And so I get right here, I get right up here and I can see him. And then he beds down and uh, he beds down cause he just can't walk anymore. And so what I do is I just, um, I end up trying, I, I get up against a tree like this and rest the gun on a tree. And so I am trying to get some shots, but He's just not facing the right way, so we walk down here some more, and uh, I finally got to a perfect angle to where I could shoot him right behind the shoulder. I took the shot, hit him good because I see him, he was twitching a little. So I walked back up here, bugged my girlfriend, high fiving my buddies, and so we wait a little bit. I go down there, and God, I can't believe how big he was. I mean, I'm thinking he's gonna score in the 150s, second buck ever. So, oh my gosh, I'm I was so excited. I'm still in shock over how big it was. But uh, hope you guys like this uh, these pictures afterwards. Um, going hunting this weekend after Thanksgiving. Taking my bow. I'm not gonna shoot anything with my gun. I'm not gonna shoot if I shoot a buck. It's gonna have to be another huge one. So, just gonna might shoot another doe. Get some with my bow. So, uh, hope you like these pictures and uh, stay tuned, guys. Talk about a heart attack. Good Lord, he's a big boy. So I sing a little prayer. Of. I've been hunting hard and I'm dog tired, but that middle strain is gone. Cause I'm all for weak and the rudders.
种，也一种。